Offshore fishing isn't something I get to do as often as I'd like, so when the opportunity arises, I jump at it. And when it's with Captain Chris Lemieux, I know it's going to be a day full of bent rods and a little havoc. We'll be running through the Boynton Inlet, ready to tangle with the thin dwellers of this gateway to the Gulf Stream. The weather is looking promising right now, so it's time to wet a line and get tight. Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products. My man, there he is. Jonathan, what's up, buddy? What's up, brother? Ready to go catch the fish? Good to see you, always, man. See you, dude. Well, I'm born and raised for it. I got some rods that are already rigged. Perfect. Already rod holders. Yep, we and, got plenty uh, of those. We'll take off, bro. All right, let's go do it to it. One and done, brother. Can't ask for that. Not much better than that. That was easy as it gets. Well, let's run off. What do you think? How far do you think we need to run? <laughs> uh, we're just going to start a couple miles off the beach. We're very, very fortunate here off Boynton, Palm Beach County area. Within a couple miles of the beach, we'll be in a couple hundred feet of water. So we'll uh, we'll get out here. We have plenty of bait. We're going to make it rain. We're going to live chum. Hopefully, we catch a nice blackfin tuna, some Thank kings you. and stuff Thank to you. start with. And uh, after that's done, we'll punch it offshore so we can catch some mappies and. Variety is the spice of life, brother. Hey, man. Do it, too. Variety is yeah, the spice of life. And then if that doesn't work out, we got some sand. And uh, we'll anchor up in Yellowtail if we have to. If we don't have to, we got plenty of meat. So we'll, we'll stick to that. Well, let's get there, bro. All right, buddy. Take let's it. Do it. Yeah, man. Beside us. Yep. Yeah, you don't have to set the hook, John. All this. Start crazy. Get him. Get him. Fish on, brother. Screaming behind the boat. Hey man, you look good catching fish, bro. Hey, what is it? I don't even know what to do. I feel like I need to hand a rod to somebody, you know? Those charter guys Oh, don't... dude, this is all you today, bro. Those charter guys don't get to catch them too often. We're usually just the spectators, you know? If the uh, line starts squealing and you're, uh, you're by the rod, you take it. All right, you don't have to tell me twice. Tag team today, bro. This one ain't the deep bait. I saw that. I saw you throwing a lead on one. Either a bonita or black fin. Sure. I'm, I'm gonna hope for the black fin. Take this light off real quick. Hey, caught him in the side. Yes, sir. Hey, it's not the target species, but we'll take anything right now. Bonita's beautiful. Five minutes in the water, we caught something, right? Not even five minutes. Yeah. But we'll we'll keep him just in case we need some strip baits to catch some dolphin later. So. Cool.
I'm bullet up behind me. Come on. I'm gonna strip faster. Got him. There He's you on. go. He's on, baby. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> On the fly. Yes, sir! <laughs> oh, man, when we talked, I gotta go to the back of the boat. I told you, hey, if we're going offshore, I'm bringing a fly rod. That's, hey, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> yeah, man. Bonita on spin, Bonita on fly. In a minute, we'll run offshore, grab some mahi, yeah, see man. what we can find out there. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Living, brother, this is living. Is that your first one on fly? First one on fly. Awesome, man. Yeah, they're they're a great fish, man. I, you know, I, I have customers all the time, and we'll, we're catching them. And you know, if you're not worried about what you're eating and whatever, they're they're pound for pound one of the funnest fish in the ocean, if you ask hey, me. Man, every fish is a good fish. Some taste better than others. Some are bigger than others, but every Sick. fish is a good fish. All right, man, on the fly. Yes, sir. And he swallowed it, choked it. <laughs> Down the awesome, hatch, dude. dude. Good job, that brother. That was awesome. Pretty cool, man. Like I said, anybody can do it on a spinning rod live bait, but to do it on a fly is a little different, you know? Pretty cool. Chum them up like that and get it done. Hey, what did we say at the beginning? Variety is the spice of life. That's it, man. You know, mixing things up, having fun, catching fish. Light tackle day. Yep. Nothing but spinning rods on the boat. Boom. Perfect. It Bang was a fly. <laughs> <laughs>
Well done, dude. Beautiful. Hey, double mahi, brother. Yeah, buddy. Target species acquired. Back to it, baits in the water. Let's oh, see if we yeah. can do it again. Let's get some more. We found the zone now. All we need to do is find that edge, find the, the grass and debris. Got a couple birds working. Fish on. Fish Textbook. On. Yeah, there's a triple tail up on the surface. By that bucket. Let me go where you are. Here, I can, let me, oh yeah. Oh, there's a really nice one right there. Oh, mahi. Mahi, mahi, yeah, mahi. Nice. Big ones too, some big ones. Mahi, I, oh. Mahi on fly, baby. Woo! <laughs> nice Look one. Look at him jumping. Throw that livey. Whole bunch of them. You got him. <laughs> so sick. Oh, I think mine came off. No, he's coming, no, at, he's coming at me. Yes, sir. <laughs> we see this bucket, triple tail on it. Throw out another one. Maybe throw out some chummers and get these, keep the school with us. So sick. Look at that, bro. Another mahi on. Oh yeah, our whole big school of mahis right here. We got nice a bunch ones. more besides us. Let me get this one in the boat and I'll grab a spinner rod. Oh, big mahi right here. They're staying with us. Look at there. <laughs> Go under me. Mahi madness, boys. Got him. He got him solo. There you go. I want to get on the action. <laughs> well, there's plenty to start reeling on. Pretty much, we're going to get every rod here loaded up. And now, the Tackle Box Tip with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Icon Coolers. As a full-time captain, I've made the commitment to drive dry. I made that commitment to my family and to my clients because safety is of the utmost importance when I'm on the water. There are so many different channels on YouTube and on Instagram where you can watch boat fails on the water and at the boat ramp. You don't want to become a statistic. You don't want to injure your friends or your family. Take the pledge with me and decide to drive dry. <laughs> Flip him right in the box, John. Yeah, dude, you ready? Here he comes. All right. Give me some slack. Working on it. Sweet. All right, these need hooks. You grab another rod. We got plenty rigged. Here, let me get this big one right here, guys. Nice fish. Oh, they're all with them. Yeah, just casting the bigger ones. Oh, big one. Oh. Yeah, you got a nice one, John. Got here, come up here, come up here, come up here. Got him. Every time I go fishing with you, it's crazy like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, blind Look squirrel. Look at that one all oh, lit up. How blind beautiful. squirrel finds a nut. This one needs a gaff. Mine's green and yellow, yours is blue, yellow, green. Yeah, that's one thing nice about these, these uh, Danko gaffs, you know? These carbon fiber Danko gaffs, they're so light, man. You can one hand gaff the fish, one hand in the rod. Boom, just like that. Got him. Tight. Crazy, bro. <laughs> Absolute madness. Nice one on here. These are all nice quality mahis here. Jumping everywhere. Jumping everywhere.
Grab another bait. Nice fish over here to our starboard side. Really, really quality fish here in this school. Want me to gaff it for you? I can get it. Just catch you one. Nice work, bro. <laughs> A fat one there. Mahi tacos tonight. Yes, sir. Just chum a little bit there, Jonathan. They'll come back. They're around here somewhere. Make sure you cast the bigger ones there. Get a little picky. Oh, <laughs> that was so sick, dude. Throwing that bait and he just goes bananas for it. Here, let me go to the front. Man, breaking a sweat. Oh, I'm dripping. Oh, back rod went off. Oh, it's been, yeah, there's been one on there. We can, oh, okay, we can okay. reel it in if you want. Oh, there's some back here with him. Oh, is there? Got it. Oh, yeah, nice one, too. sick, dude. Oh, I got a big one. Yeah, you do. Good job. Yeah! That fish is making work. Here it comes, brother. Dude, I, I love sight fishing out on the flats, and this is the closest to sight fishing you can get in the ocean, bro. Correct. Literally picking the fish we want to eat. Nice work, dude. Nice bull dolphin. Oh, bull there. Yes, sir. That was sick, dude. <laughs> hey, right here. Yes. Oh, yeah, man. Big man works in mysterious ways. And now, the conservation challenge with Captain Jonathan Moss. Dolphin fish, mahi-mahi, dorado. We all love this fish, and no matter what you call it, they need more research. So we've partnered with the Dolphin Fish Research Program, and today, out on the water, we're gonna tag a dolphin. Once we've tagged the fish, we're gonna fill out this postcard. We're gonna put the location, the time, uh, where uh, the water temperature, everything that's asked here, we're gonna fill out this form, the next time that fish is caught, we can gain the research, we can gain the information of where it traveled to. If you want to learn more, visit beyondourshores.org and you can find out all this information about the Dolphin Fish Research Program. Yeah, we're going to catch fish on this thing. File fish on it. Nah, there's, there's mahis here, guaranteed. Here, Jonathan, I got that jig for you if you want to drop that thing. Talked into an existence. Did you see that? <laughs> that might be a wahoo there, buddy. He's right there. I think he foul hooked him. Yep, wahoo. So sick, dude. <laughs> Little wahoo. <laughs> what I say? You gotta pop your cherry. He's not a monster, but it's target species. He's got stripes. Foul hooked him, but whatever. Come to you. Who that, brother? Yes, sir. First Wahoo, man. <laughs> I don't even care. He ain't big, man. Look how beautiful. <laughs> we call those Weehoos, but. Look at there. Look at that. Look at those stripes. Yeah, man. Awesome. You wanna let him go? All right. Mr. Weehoo. Thanks, buddy. That was awesome. Got it goes. <laughs> what a day, bro. Yeah, oh, great man. Great day, great day. Bonita on spin. 
on fly, yep. the black fin on spin, yep. mahi on fly, mahi on spin, and then you called it, dude. That uh, that wahoo there at the end, my first wahoo, yep. jigging and mahi on jigs too. Yeah, yeah, Just it was a great day, man. It all worked out. I came together. We finally found the conditions we were looking for and put a catch together. Caught it, though. Yeah, man. For awesome. sure. Let's get out of here, bro. Thank you again for the invitation. Oh, my friend. pleasure, brother. Anytime. Let's make that run home. With a blacked out well, we headed east in search of current edges, floating debris, and weed lines, knowing good and well that this would be our best shot at finding fish. It didn't take long for us to come tight. This was textbook offshore execution that turned into controlled chaos and a fish box full of dinner. Spicing things up with catching a few on fly was the cherry on top to make this offshore adventure one for the books.